Sairam, Sairam. Sairam, Sairam. We have two interviews, two interviewers, and two interviewees here. So, yes. Tom Lasanta. From Atlanta. That's the one. That's the one. Tommy <laughs> Hobson. Tommy yes. Swami. Yeah, Tommy Swami. These guys go way back. Well, well, we were in Whitefield, used to, you know, Bobble would go in, like, January, you'd always go to Whitefield. And um, so well, there was a, a seven of us in the group from Atlanta. And and it's when we used to sit under the big tree in Whitefield yes. before the dormitories were built mm -hmm. and just finishing those. And um, this one this one time Tom and Tom uh, was the vehicle for Swami to call us in. And one of the people in the group, uh, this lady, decided that she did uh, she decided that she wanted to close her eyes during during the time that Bob came out for Darshan, which is not a very good thing. <laughs> but she closed her eyes and we didn't know that she was doing this. But anyway, uh, Bob called us in. And uh, we were standing on the veranda of, of his roundhouse. And, well, then we went inside to the interview room. It was in the roundhouse, and there's like a, a little round interview room with another little room off the side of it. And there was an Indian family and our little group of six from Atlanta. And um, the, the little the Indian family, the mother, or grandmother maybe it was, because she was elderly, and she was kind of obese, actually. Kind of? And, uh, kind of. Anyway, she was sitting on the floor, which I'm sure it wasn't, she doesn't usually sit on the floor. So when Mom was talking to her, he was ready to call them into the interview room. And the lady couldn't get up. She kept going this way and pushing and, and kind of pushing. And the other, la the other ladies on, you know, the men couldn't touch the ladies, of course. So the, uh, the, the ladies on that side were pushing her on her back and trying to get her up. And nothing was happening. And then Swami came over and stood in front of her, took her hand, took his, her hand like with his one hand, and he went, zoop, and picked her up. And she was in standing position. So the family went on into the interview room, and it was real sweet. That Very was strong. That was fun. The story I'm going to tell, this, this, is, this happened, this is by the time we got to the interview. So the story I'm going to tell is before this. But in the interview room, uh, because of some of the things that I'm going to talk about, uh, Swami looked at me, and I was like, oh boy, I'm in really in trouble here. Because I was surprised that, that we got the interview. And so he saw that my mind, I had major monkey mind, so he said, oh, this guy, you get him. So he said, look to Tommy, he said, what do you do? And Tommy said, I'm a nurse. And Swami said, very happy. Service to man is service to God. Then he looked at me and he said, ego very bad. <laughs> <laughs> so before that, in other words, this is, this is the climax of the interview room. Before that, when we first got to Prashanti, we decided, you know, Jeff, there was a fellow that came, came with us. There were, there were about 11 of us in the group, I believe. And they said, um, why don't you and I get a bucket and some towels, and we're going to just wet everything down and then sweep it up, wet everything down so that we can get all this dust out of the room. So we went downstairs, and there was a saver doll at a table. And he said, do you have any buckets? And he said, no. And then a lady had popped up and said, are you looking for a bucket? Now, in those days, Swami said, when you come to this holy place, you've traveled many, many thousands of miles to come here for sadhana and keep your spiritual practices. Interacting with your brothers and sisters as a group is fine, but don't start making friends and stuff and chit-chatting. Yeah. You come here for a spiritual purpose, stick to that purpose. So this lady getting back, and, and, Swan, and, and even when we went through orientation, they said, don't be out going out and talking to people. Stick with your sadhana, go to darshan, go to omkar, and do all the things that you need to do to enhance your sadhana here. And um, Swami, uh, that was very imprinted in my mind. So when the lady said, are you, uh, are you looking for a bucket? We thought she had a bucket. And he said, yes. She says, well, I am too. Uh, and the saver doll said, well, I don't have any buckets. You can get them out in the marketplace. Yeah. So she says, well, I'll give you, how much money is it? And I went, oh, I don't want to get involved with this. 
Swami, I don't really want to do this. And Jeff said, well, Tom, we're not interacting with this lady. We're doing seva. Mm -hmm. So let's do it. I went, oh, I don't feel good about this. So we said, okay. So we went to the market, came back. Where was the lady from? She was Italian. Oh. And uh, had a kind of a assertive type of personality. And I went, mm, this is not going to end well, but I'll do it. Mm -hmm. So we came back. We got the buckets, we came back, and nobody was there. The Seva doll wasn't there, she wasn't there. We told her we'd be right back with the buckets, she disappeared. So we laid it by the table. The afternoon came up, we were all getting ready to come downstairs, and, um, and I saw the lady at the bottom of the stairwell. She said, where's my bucket? Uh. <laughs> the way she came at me was like, well, I, I put it there by the table. It's not there, you have to go and get me another bucket. And <laughs> I was saying, this is, this, is not, this is not going well. And I said, well, I'm going to budgets right now. I can't think about the bucket, uh, whatever. <laughs> and I just moved on and went. And the more I thought about her attitude, the more aggravated I got. So I go into the budget room. This particular day, Swami was in his chair. He had the students singing budgets. <laughs> And it was just divinity all over the place, and Swami was waving his hands like that. And I'm thinking about this lady putrefying the atmosphere with all my evil thoughts and stuff like that. <laughs> that lady upset me, this <laughs> audacity, I can't believe it. She, and I went, Tommy, I mean Tom, you gotta, you got to lighten up. So I went, okay, okay, and I felt good. And as soon as I walk outside, there she is, waiting for me. She says, Outside, Julie, the budget. outside the budget room. This is outside after it was it was done. Oh, yeah. And she said, "You need to go get my bucket right now." So I pulled out thirty-five rupees. I said, "Lady, here's your money." She said, "I have nothing to do with money. You have to go and get my bucket." So I took the thirty-five rupees and I put it in her cushion. She said, "You can't do that." I said, "I just did." I said, "You know, this is over." She started chasing me. And I went, we were all standing there around her, and they were running around us. So, she was so, so she chased me, this is at the budget hall, and she chased me all the way to where the entrance to the dormitories were, and everybody was having satsang there, and, and Tommy and them. So she started chasing me around the circle, and I went, God, this lady's nuts. <laughs> and so then when I got to the entrance, I went up and I said, au revoir. And so... But then when I went to my room, I really, really started feeling bad. So I, I was praying to Swami. The next morning I got up, and I had kind of like, I, I was, as I was coming out, of, it wasn't a, a, in meditation, but it was almost like a lucid meditation. And, um, and I was kind of having a dialogue with Swami. Swami, I feel so bad about that yesterday. So I visualized Swami, and Swami was sitting in his white gown in a chair. And he said, could you do me a favor? I said, yes, Swami, anything. He said, could you go to the village and get me a bucket? <laughs> and I said, sure, Swami, anything, anything. And then Swami looked at me and said, is not Swami in everyone? Yeah. And I went, oh. <laughs> oh, man, I knew it. I said, so I, I, did, I got the Gita Vahini and I went out and just sat down. Because I knew I was going to be the last line in and the last person in that line. Mm -hmm. So I sat down. And then you proceeded to get the interview. And then we proceeded to get the interview. Wow. And, and, and I'll let... Do you want to talk more about the well, interview? Well, no, tell them about uh, the guy that gave you the babuti because you were feeling real bad and he gave you the babuti that they mob had given him. You know, While we were cleaning the room. Okay. And this is when... I, this is before the lady. While we were cleaning the room, this j tall gentleman, I think he was from, from Scandinavia, a really tall, thin, nice fellow, and we noticed that he and his group had gotten a, a, an interview. So uh, I recognized him and I said, hi, I said, how did you interview? Would you like to share some of the stories there with Swami? So he said, oh yes, and he proceeded to tell us a little bit about it. He said, would you like some of beauty? Would you like some of booty? I was, oh, that would be a, just a major blessing. So he gave me a packet of a booty. Wow. And oh. I took the packet of a booty, put it away. 
From Swami, though. Huh? It was, yeah, from, from, Swami, the from the interview that Swami gave him for the yeah. interview. So Jeff and I felt very blessed. I said, see, for us volunteering to do the seva, you know, we're getting all this done and stuff. So, I, and I, I don't want this story to get too long. Um, when we, after that incident, the next day, and I would always go into silence, because as you can tell, I talk too much. Um, uh, I, after meditation, um, as I was leaving the room, my intuition said, uh, get a packet of Abudi. Okay. I said, okay. So I went up, and the packet that I got, I reached into, I had like a little altar, and I picked up the bag, and it was the one that he gave me from the interview with Swami. Mm -hmm. And I had my, I had already tucked all mine away. So I was waiting in line. This is the day after your interview. So this is the day after the interview. Right. Sure. So I went, and normally what I did is, in Vrindavan in those days, you had to wait outside the canteen. And so I, what I would do is, people were chatting and stuff, so I would just close my eyes and do Gayatri. And, um, and I heard kind of a hustling, bustling type of thing, which means that the doors are probably open and people getting ready to go in. I open up my eyes, and who's in front of me? The Italian lady. lady. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked at her, and with as much humility as I possibly could, I, I, with my eyes and with my heart, I said, I am so sorry. I am so, so sorry. And, and then, at the moment that I saw her, my intuition told me, the Vibhuti's for her. Oh. So I took out the packet of Vibhuti, and I gave it to her. And the feeling of bliss in that moment, I could just feel this sweet Swami spiritual love just vibrating between us. Mm. And in that moment, I realized how important forgiveness is. Because in that moment, she was my sister. Yeah. And I'll never forget her. Mm -hmm. But she was a pain in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> but she taught you a very valuable lesson. She did. You know? And I never really got to talk to her because I, I made sure that I was inside. Sure. So, so Thank forgiveness you. has been a, a great boon for me on some of the things that, that uh, Swami has helped me with over the years. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that story. Thank you. That was wonderful. Sai Ram. Sai Ram.